It's pouring outside and we've had tornado warnings all day. And you might hear some thunder. <laughs> the mic is right next to my mouth, so maybe not, but it is crazy. Guys, I'm in a relationship. I've been excited about somebody for a long time and I haven't been able to share it with you because, um, I don't know, I, I'm just very careful about sharing things online unless it seems like a done deal. <laughs> so, and it takes a lot of time to uh, find something that you feel like is a done deal. So, um, this is very exciting for me. I'm, I'm so happy to be talking about this finally. So his name is Caleb, <laughs> and you might be wondering why he's not here. That's because he lives in Utah, and I live in Texas. And that's, that's a big part of the reason why we weren't sure if it was a done deal for a, a while. So we, we actually met like four years ago. We uh, matched on Tinder, <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you can relate. I am the kind of person that will focus on a dating app for a few months, and then I'll take a break. And we matched right at the beginning of one of my breaks. And because I hadn't messaged him back on Tinder, he ended up finding a mutual friend of ours on social media. And he reached out to her and basically said that he wanted my number. And <laughs> she at the time, so this was a childhood friend of mine, and she didn't know I was dating guys at this point at all. So. <laughs> she, she sent me a message and was like, hey, we should go to dinner. And, and somehow I just knew that she knew that I was dating guys and she's bisexual. And so I felt very comfortable like coming out to her at dinner. Um, and then she, she just said, I know. <laughs> and she said, in fact, somebody that you matched with on Tinder reached out to me, <laughs> another friend of mine. <laughs> And he wants you guys to, um, to, he wants to meet up with you. I don't know. I was just, I was just very flattered that he had like gone out of his way to like find a mutual friend and talk to her about getting to me. <laughs> and I thought he was handsome. Otherwise I wouldn't have matched with him. So we got together. Um, we had a really fun date. We drove up a canyon to a lake. We went on another date shortly after that with our mutual friend. So we had been on quite a few dates, but neither of us were really in a place for a relationship. I had just barely started dating men for the first time, and I feel like I needed that time to go on lots of dates and figure out what I liked and what I wanted. And um, anyways, eventually I found my ex. We dated for three or two and a half years or so. And then just over a year and a half ago, um, Caleb called me and we hadn't talked at this point because I was in a relationship um, for years. But so I was surprised when he called, but um, I found out that he'd been going through kind of a tough time and he needed to just surround himself with good people, good friends. Um, he was really only looking for, you know, friendship. So we started chatting quite a bit. He knew I didn't even live in the state. <laughs> and so, um, did you see that flash? That was, <laughs> we got some crazy thunderstorms. <laughs> that just shook the whole house. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> We've got like tornado warnings today. We've got crazy thunderstorms. <laughs> okay, anyways, so we started chatting on the phone um, and it was good timing, honestly, because I was going through a breakup and I could have, I could definitely use a friend. I had a great time chatting just as friends. We would play some video games together. After like three months of us chatting, he told me that he had feelings for me. And at this point, I mean, we'd been talking so much that I definitely had feelings for him as well, but we didn't live in the same state. 
I mean, it was nice that we liked each other, but there really wasn't a clear path for a future. And I had no plans of moving to Utah. I was having a great time meeting new people here in Austin. We would still chat as friends and we knew that each other was going on dates with other people. And obviously over a year of that, I mean, it's hard not to <laughs> start having deeper feelings for somebody. And so, Actually, around the same time, we each started going on dates with somebody specific. We stopped chatting for like three months, and then I got a call from him that was like, he just really missed chatting with me, and, and I felt the same way. And we realized that we really didn't want to date other people. So we both ended things with the people that we were going on dates with for a few months, and then, and then we started chatting more. So, and getting a little bit more serious. As far as moving situations, Caleb recently applied to a new job and we decided if he got the job, I would move back to Utah. And if he didn't get the job, he would move to Texas and find a job here. And he got the job. <laughs> so, so I'm moving back to Utah. And, and I've honestly, loved my time in Austin. There's so many awesome people that I've met here um, and become friends with, but I have really missed my family and friends that are in Utah, and it's gonna be really nice to be close to them as well. And I knew that that's something that I wanted eventually was to be close to family again, but I didn't know when that was gonna happen, and I've, I've put a lot of work into building clientele here. And so I was kind of pushing off going back to Utah because I knew I was going to have to build up more clientele and find different routes of business. But the good news is more than multiple companies that I'm contracted through for photos um, decided they would still contract me out in Utah. So I'm going to have a base when I get to Utah to start building from again. But um, plus I've got a lot more experience now and much more of a portfolio than I had two and a half years ago when I started here for the first time in Austin. So I'm sure it'll be just fine. But yeah, I am so excited for you guys to see more of him. He's so, he's so fun to be with and he has such a good sense of humor and you guys are gonna fall in love with him just like I did. All right, I mean, that's all I have for you guys now. Um, he's gonna fly it. So I'm officially moving back to Utah in July and he's going to fly out here and help me pack up and drive back to Utah um, sometime in mid-July. I mean, moving sucks, but I'm really just excited to be close to him because we've been doing, you know, we've been chatting over the phone for like a year and a half. It'll be so nice to be close to each other. Also, real quick before I go, I wanted to do a special shout out to my latest patrons. Al Kennedy, Alaskan1981, Brian Johnson, Bruce, Stephen Mays, Lewis Dill, Lane Wright. You guys really are the reason I can spend the time that I do making these videos. If you would like to support this channel, I'm gonna have the link to my Patreon in the description below. I'm sure Caleb will be a bigger part of my Patreon videos when I get back to Utah as well. So you have that to look forward to. So maybe I'll see you guys over there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.